Hi everyone, Andre from Chromefix Films here and welcome to part 8 of my 2D game development tutorial series. All I'll be doing in this video is taking what I made in the last video and I'm going to be adding sound effects. So we're going to add uh, music running in the background, we're going to have sounds whenever you pick up the coins, and probably a sound when you get hurt, uh, just to add some details to the game and make it uh, a little more interesting to listen to. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to select the main camera and this is where we're going to be playing the music. So I created this short little loop track uh, in Mixcraft and this is what it sounds like. I'll show you a little sample. All right, so I'm going to Click it from the uh, click and drag from the project tab, and I'm going to drop it onto the main camera. And I have my settings here, so I'm going to say play on awake. I'm going to have it loop. I'm going to have its volume about halfway, so it's not overpowering any other sounds in the scene. Just so generally, if we set a default volume for the game, I want to have everything roughly around 0.8, so there's some room to have uh, something louder than the rest of the objects in the scene. Um, because if you already make everything the max volume, it's harder to adjust if you want something to be louder than the rest of the objects in the scene. Uh, so it's good to have some uh, a buffer to work with. So we don't have to worry about pan and spread because it is um, added directly to the object. But let's see anything else? Nope, that's pretty good. So now if we play, there will be music. So let's make it so when you hit these coins, it plays a sound. So let's open up our move player script. I believe this is the one that collides. Where do you touch coins? There it is. So when you uh, come in contact with the coin, we're going to do game object, lowercase uh, g, find, and we're going to find coin sound, and play its audio. So let's create, let's focus on the camera. Let's create an empty game object. We're going to call, call this coin sound. And I have here a Super Mario Brothers coin sound I just downloaded online. Did, uh, uncheck play on awake. And let's make this a child object of the main camera. So whenever the main camera moves, the coin sound moves with it. And we'll make this a little quieter. So what's going to happen every time you hit a coin is that Unity will play the sound effect. And if you run into a second coin shortly afterwards while the sound effect is still playing, it will stop the sound effect and then it'll, it'll replay it. So you only have one sound effect running at once. Um, this way, it uses less memory. So you're not actually spawning sound objects. Uh, Unity takes less power to run it. Because we're using the 2D tools, it doesn't make that much of a difference, but it's good practice for certain types of game development. You could spawn the objects. That usually works whenever you're using assault rifles and you're spawning several sounds a second. So if you have a high fire rate, it's better to do that or just have a single sound effect that has a machine gun running on a loop. Um, so you can play around with that and you can create your own techniques, uh, whatever works best for you. So if we play, everything should work. We'll add a sound for the key. I like it. Let's make it a little quieter. But I like how that sounded. The coin collisions didn't seem to be on point. So we update it a little bit, fix it. There you go. So let's make it so whenever you hit the key, it plays a the sound. Like that. I'm getting this little notification here that I have two tags with the same name. Okay. This is something you just want to... Um, just This is off topic, but I just want to throw this out there. Make sure that you only have one tag with one name, uh, so don't have duplicates. So I have coin here and I have coin up here. 
So Unity's warning me about that, that I don't need a second one. It won't give you an error and it won't, uh, the software won't have any bugs associated with this because um, it will just pick, some, because of the same tag, it will associate them with the same uh, name in the script. So it doesn't make a big difference, but it's just useless to have. So just make sure you only have one. So I'll duplicate coin sound, control D, call it key sound. And instead of the Mario coin, I will make it a boing sound. Keep the volume the same. Open up the code. And I'll add the same line of code uh, above. And there we go. Let's see if it works. I like it. So if you get hurt, let's add a little sound effect. Let me see what I have. All right, I imported this in. Let me compress it. So it says sword hit. This is just a sound effect that I mixed together. I'll just call this hurt. Same process. Go to the code. I'll just copy and paste this. Just like that. Make it a little louder. So in just a few minutes, we now have sound effects in the scene. And it's that's that's really how easy it is. There's there's nothing else to it. You yeah, you can create your own audio engine or cool audio effects that uh, a pan from left to right speakers. It just really depends what kind of game you're making. Uh, but that's really all it takes for the sound effects. So now we got that. And the next thing that we have to do is create checkpoints. So if you get hurt or fall out of the map, your player doesn't spawn all the way at the beginning, but rather where the most convenient spot is. And we'll be doing that in the next video. So thanks guys for watching and I'll see you next time.